being moved by the wave of the world stop being troubled by the ways of the world because it will not work out for you at the end be careful when somebody say it is well with me in december some people will say it in january some people will say it in february and the people that celebrate in december may be crying when you start your home it is only a fool that judge his or our own life by the success of another only a fool do that i've said this several times there was a time i was very poor so i need to go to site to fetch water for the bricklayer and to pack some carry block as a laborer before i can eat and feel my son somebody now abused me and you better go and fetch that water you better go and pack that thing or there nonsense the person will get this house you don't even reach your age I smile. I say, when I will build my own, tenant will reject his house. His house will be too old to park in. That is exactly what it is. And when God wants to bless you later, you will not die before that time. No prayer. He now he will keep you. But if you want it now, maybe the person that did it now will not be alive when your time comes. Why did you want to take his own time? Take it easy. But when you are waiting, don't be wasting. Means don't commit sin. Be holy when you are waiting for only God. Today, I'm taking us to the book of Matthew chapter 7. I'm reading from verse 14. Matthew 7, 14. But small is the gate, and narrow is the road that leads to life, and only few find it. Do you know the meaning of narrow and small? Narrow brings inconvenience. Narrow brings inconvenience. Narrow will never make things comfortable. When the road is narrow, it can never be convenient. When the road is narrow, it can never be easy. If this is the only way, this step, this step is the only way to come in and go out. For me and you to meet in the middle and still make a way. Number one, we will not hate each other. Because it is sure if I stand like this and there's a wall here, you two want to pass. I will need to, to slim myself, to skills myself for you, number one. And number two, your body and my body must touch each other. Am I right? And if I hate you, is anybody going to pass? One will go back for one. One will go down for one. But if we love each other, I will not realize your mouth is smelly. I will not realize your body is smelly. We will even be joking, be smiling as we are squeezing ourselves. Do I engage that? Don't match my leg, yo. Oh, yeah, do like this, do like this. <laughs> See yourself. That's how we will pass. We will not argue. Am I right? But if we hate each other, that will be too terrible. That will be too terrible. And the problem here is this. In the last day, we don't even know whom to love. That's the most dangerous thing. In the day of the apostles, when anybody fighting you, pursuing you, all you need to do is find your ways to the church. When you get, just get to church, that is all. You can do whatever you like. But today, the pastor on the pulpit may be the commander of the wolf. He is the one that sent them against you. He is the one you will still report to. You see? Tomanika <laughs> Mahashora. Look. Watch and pray. It's more than sight. Look like this. Look like this. Watch and pray is more than that statement. 
far beyond that. Everybody listening. The gate to heaven is narrow. It's inconvenient. But yet, the people that claim they are going to heaven in this last day want every conven everything to be convenient. Not only convenient, they want everything at their own will. Just the way they want it. Just the way they like it. It's so terrible in this last day to the level you choose the church you like, you choose the preacher you like, you choose the choir you like. It is not like those days. In a whole village, you may have only one church. It's not like the olden days. In the whole local government, maybe one church or two. That people will trek miles on Sunday morning. Some will wake up in their house, four with lantern or five. Walking in the dark hour just because they are going to worship in the church. And when they close around 11 or 12, they will trek on that sun again back home just to worship God. It's not like that anymore. In fact, they don't want you to go far. They are closer to your house. They are the one that need you now. You are not the one that need them. In those days, our father need the church of God. But these days, the church need us. That's the difference. Which is quite dangerous and creepy. You see, Christianity is that the missionary brought to Nigeria, to Africa, is not what we have right now. The Christianity they brought is not just a religion. It's a power package. Missionary brought power to us. Missionary brought life to us. But today we have party place, joint. Yes. We don't have church of God anymore. We have church of men. The power, excuse me, the missionary that brought religion, the religion that people are castigating today on social media, the religion they are insulting and blaspheming today on social media, the people that brought it down here, they lay the foundation with their blood. I mean their own blood. I don't know why I'm telling you this, but the Lord made me to be saying it, to give you warning. Go home, talk to your children. Excuse me, when you don't talk to your children, the world will talk to them. I, AI will talk to them. Agent of darkness will talk to them. Let there be time to discuss with them. Let them know the reason why you accept what you accept. Let them know what they need to know. And these children may say, what concerns me? After I'm not a pastor, why are you telling me all this? Let them know why they need to know. They need to defend it. That is the same people make us to believe that Christianity is not difficult. Excuse me. A man marry a wife. They have children, like four or five. When they are growing older, the children are growing. The man now went and married another young girl. And this young girl killed their mother. And one day they were talking. And that is what he feed the husband. That your wife wants to kill me. Thank God that saved me. As I dodged that in the day, fell on her and she died. And the man believed. 
And one day, maybe there's something happened. The, he has misunderstanding with the children. And the woman started crying. He said, you brought me to this house to destroy me. Even not because I'm a good person. Am I not the one your mother wants to kill before she kills herself? Upon what your mother did to me, I did not supposed to love you. But because I'm a good person, I'm still showing love to you, you are still complaining. If you are a child and you hear that, how do you feel? That is blackmailing. Emotional blackmailing. Emotionally, they are blackmailing the churches today. Yeah. They make us to believe the people that brought church, they don't handle it the way we handle it. You don't need to pray much to be a Christian. Your outfit does not, it's not a gain for Christianity. The only thing is your art. And this art self is not even presentable. The art they are talking about is not presentable. Okay, let's accept it's his art. The same art you jealous others. The same art you you abuse somebody. The same art. The same art you imagine the nakedness of my wife and see greet me good morning, sir. After you have imagined evil to my wife, the same art. If that is the art that God wants to judge to make heaven, uh uh huh. Because you will surely go hell. Praise the Lord. The Bible makes it clear that the road to the kingdom of God is narrow. Narrow means you cannot be comfortable. Narrow means the road will not allow you to do what you want, but what it takes. Any church, any pastor that don't want you to feel bad will take you to the wrong road. Any pastor that is always afraid to say something that will hurt member, being afraid of maybe they will not come tomorrow, mark it, they cannot save you. Next thing, the Bible makes me to know that the road to heaven is narrow. And if you discover you always love church, want church, want pastor that will not talk about your sin the spirit of the last day the spirit of hell is dwelling in you number two when you always feel bad when somebody open up your secret i mean your sin praise the lord something is going on this last day which is not even happening in the day of our father that we abuse we insult what they cannot do is happening among pastors today happening in the church today me i ain't want to talk do you know what i hate most hmm. i hate people backbiting me I hate it. That's why I don't make friends, though. I don't make friends. Because if you have friends, they, they will push you to backbite. I ache by bite. That is why that woman, <laughs> see the way he greeted me. And I smile. That's the way we do. Because our problem is that she talks too much. There was a day me and I talked together. She told me all the secrets of pastor. What pastor wife is doing. Abby, and she hates that's what is going on these days somebody will tell you what i hate in my life is when somebody lies against me just wait let there be celebration they are sharing food you will be there when she will collect food and say he never collects and she will forgot he has told you what he ate most in his life is lies. Every one of us, do you know the sickness? We can dictate someone's problem. We cannot dictate ourselves. 
And the worst part, we hate anyone that dictates us. That is the spirit of the last day in the church. You can dictate me. That when I say, let's pray the last prayer, I will still have another one. <laughs> you can dictate me. Mommy, don't say that again. Because people will say you are lying. You are right. But you, as you are stepping out of the church, somebody say, Mommy, Mommy Larry, please, oh, can you please borrow me 5,000? Or you let that you told me only 5,000. God see that I did not have 5,000 and you still have up to 300,000. But nobody will dictate that one. Do you get what I'm saying? Eh, hey, that is it. I've told you about boldness. To be righteous, you must be. Naturally, the answer should be. Ha. Hmm. Huh. 5,000 to give you. It's not available with me. Yoruba so kwe ya. A ye 5,000 yen o yon fun me. A ye o yon. O ya to spe mi o ne. Ah. I'm not buoyant to give you such money. Do you understand what I'm saying? I'm not buoyant to give you such money. I, I don't have enough to give you. That means enough can somebody have enough no when you are giving somebody replies use your brain i'm sorry i don't have enough to give you that i'm sorry i don't have enough to give you but i may have enough to give this man yes because that three hundred thousand with me i have planned with it but I remove from my plan to sponsor his own plan. My heart and my brain do it. But he, I don't have enough to give him. Means the money without plan. Do you understand? If I have enough, I can give you the one I don't have plan for. Excuse me, watch your mouth before you talk. No, Kalama Badua Olua, she has slip of tongue. Tikuba Kai Koto Badua Enko. Can you, are you ready to go to hell just for slip of tongue? I be careful. I can get tongue on. You will sleep or she won't know. Are you getting what I'm saying? The kingdom of God sovereign. The violent take care of. What is the violence? Discipline to yourself. Is a violence on yourself. Ah, I need this money badly. Ah, with this money I will treat my son. With this money I will pay landlord. With this money I will pay my children's school fees. But it's not my money unless I steal. Discipline will say no. It is not God that will say no. He has said it severally. That time God is not going to talk. That time Holy Spirit is not going to talk. That time no miracle will seize your hand. I command you don't take it. It's a lie. All the angels of heaven and Holy Spirit, God the Father, God the Son, all of them will keep quiet and will be watching. And the kingdom of darkness too will focus and be watching. And there's going to be pronunciation which will be sounding in your heart some will be saying don't take it don't take it it's a sin don't take it it's a sin the other one will say take it is a blessing take it is a blessing is god's answer are you sure this money is not lost from someone are you sure the person will come back if you don't take it another person is coming to take it in fact it may be a drug addict that will take it to he may be now she would that will take it all hey you better take it before it will be too late another man will be telling you what if the owner of this money letter costs and if you cost and go your money never lost before the money you lost come back to you 
there's going to be conflict in your heart. So, ability to obey God is the only thing that will rescue you. No Holy Spirit or angel will stop you. Ability for obedience is the only thing that will stop you so that you can continue in that narrow way. There are some things some people will tell you on the phone. Ah! I want to reply, Buruku Kanwa. Reply, Buruku Kanwa. Your mind will be telling you, ah, <laughs> I even tell my children in the car today, I have a misunderstanding or maybe conflict or argument with somebody in the dream. Now, dream will not be physical. So, the person now say, I can pray better than mommy and better than her. I can pray more than her. But the problem is that that make me angry. Even the little she pray, she get answer faster than me. And I'm still investigating that. I want to know why God give her testimony faster than me. I have strength more than her. I can pray more than her. And I gave that person one answer. When I wake up, I say, oh, for me, this is too bad. If not physical, I will go beg that person. Just one reply I gave. When I wake up, I see that uh, uh, this statement is too bad. If not physical, we're going to fasting for forgiveness. You want to know my reply? Yes. Now, one statement. I just asked the person. If you have dog and you have a child, dog is barking and crying loud, and your child is crying, which one you go carry? Is a child. Now, nah, turn away. And everybody will do it. just say, ah. If your child is crying, and dog is crying. Which one will you carry? He said, child. Now nah, just turn away. And everybody understand my reply immediately. And the person feel bad, almost crying. I don't even look back at just the cool. And that's the end of that conversation. <laughs> I don't even argue. That's the reply. But what I want to bring out is this. Some people will frustrate you to the level you will say something that will condemn you. Ability to say because of heaven, let me keep quiet. Though I know that person, I give that reply. If not physical, no go talk. I will just say it is well. But I don't say, Lord, you are in your mind, be well, so you allow. Result, you need that. Physically, if I see that person, if we have that argument, Nami go tell people, it's true, it's true. I supported her. I go support her immediately. Because I don't want to hurt her. What I'm trying to say is this. Hmm. Everything in this journey will do one thing. What is that? Go back. They want to set you back. You know, pick one ties, one roll of ties is the only way all this one is pit. This one is pit. This one roll of ties is the only way. I'm coming, you are coming. We meet. One must go back here for this one to pass. Or this one, this one will go back for, the, for me to pass. So, anytime you lie, you go back. Anytime the pollution of the world causes you to commit sin, you need to go back. Because he's the winner. He's the one that will pass. How many times devil pass for you to go back? How many times have you made devil to go back for you to pass? How many times? And by the time they do the calculation of your pass, and, the, and devil pass, who is going to win? Who is going to fail? The kingdom of God is holy. And anybody that will go there must be holy. And I've already told you the reason why God will not show mercy after death. I've told you that message. Do you remember? Huh? I told you the reason why he will not show mercy after death. I've told you. 
And the reason is that if God sent Lucifer and his angel away because of sin, because he did not want evil to be polluted, he wanted to be clean. How can he now celebrate you, him, with sin in the name of mercy? Why he not show mercy on Lucifer? Why show him mercy on you? Number one. And number two, if you read your book of Revelation very well, the way he narrates new Jerusalem that will come from heaven to the earth is going to be pure. It's going to be clean. It's going to be this. And by the time you want to gather people that will live there, you will be say, na slip of tongue they take lie and they never cut the tongue. If you now carry you go inside, you they take bribe, you enter. You they steal your husband money, you enter. And they say in New Jerusalem, there will be no tears, there will be no sorrow. You are a liar, you enter. What caused tears and sorrow here? Is it not lie? Is it not wickedness? Is it, is it not hatred? Is it not confessiousness? The everything that caused sorrow and tears here. If he allow it to enter there, the same way is going to destroy this world. With time, it will still destroy the new Jerusalem. So, for the new Jerusalem not to end like this garden of Eden that is ending, for the same thing not to be repeated, it is then you will hear, sorry, you cannot enter there. Sorry, you cannot enter there. Iniquity is not and it's not allowed. Sorry, you are not permit to enter. Iniquity is not allowed. It will not be your portion in Jesus' name. And uh, Jesus know me, I know him. God even sent me to Mamarapek last month. God used to talk to me regularly. Bible confirm it. He said they will say, Jesus, in your name we cast out. It is true. Excuse me. If you employ workers to be working with you in your company, paying them salary, even shaking hand with them, Mr. Gideon, how are you? Mr. Emmanuel, how are you? That does not mean when you die. Even though they are the ones that work, that make you the money to build that house. It is your workers that work for you to make money to build that house. Does that mean when you die, you will will a room for your workers in your house? That is it. You are working for God. You are sweeping the church does not grant you a place in heaven yes until the document your adoption paper is finalized if you are not finally adopted if they did not sign the father did not sign if you do not have genuine holy spirit god will recognize you jesus will recognize you Holy Spirit will recognize you, but the gate of heaven will not recognize you. You know, say my message today, na gentle, gentle, and no rush. But if you listen very well, you will know it's deep. Listen. Let everybody know you. Even Fumilayo. Fumilayo preaching powerfully. Even God like my message. Devil fear my message is not a certificate to heaven. Ah, no, 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 no. That man, that woman, they speak powerful words. It's not a certificate to heaven. Everything you cover it, you don't want anybody to know. Is what they will open the day of judgment before you enter. My personal relationship with God and personal relationship with man will be the certificate. 
not worship personal relationship with god and personal relationship with man those that come in contact with you what happened to their life what do you do to them and my dear the worst part is this the apostles and our fathers in the lord of those days and the you know early churches in a year they can come in contact with 80 human beings 20 anima but in our time we come in contact with 97 anima three human <laughs> do you see the difference the gap so ability to go mad 80 times a day is available chance to get angry you know in those days people that did not greet you i don't like this man i don't like the way he talk they avoid you if you now cut them and say oh god why are you avoiding me because it's human being abby he will be shocked he will be downfolded he will not know what to say ah yes you can say Emma Binu, Etiri Mito, Emma Jemporo. No, you caught me, you caught me, I'm sorry. Uh, it's only, I don't like the way you, you talk. That is human being. But Anema, just accuse Anema, say, you know, want to greet me, go say, ah, I am a bad maker. Emi Simanki, you take him down. Me, we are the greasy way, you know the answer. Have you ever greeted me one day, I didn't answer you? Anema action. How do you? How do you make it easy with them so to make it easy with them is to say maybe when you are accusing you now say kini am i borrowing my year woman sorrow the missy man kept talking down so you don't have to try that to say i'm sorry i'm sorry maybe i'm the one that feel like that i'm sorry am i being 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 Jade, me or more pain, muti or ten, Emma Binu, even though you know you did not utter, but to make peace, you just that is it. So it's not difficult like this in the olden days to be a Christian. The only threat we have in those days is attack of death. But these days, attack of destruction is what they are giving us. They will not. No, if you are only you are born again, you do not fornicate, and they come and cut your head. Heaven straight. But today they are not going to cut your head. Though. They will make sure you are worse than them before you die. They will make sure every access to heaven they shut it before they kill you. That's what makes it worse. That is what the Bible say: the glory of the latter day shall be greater than the former because anybody that they make evil now cannot be compared to anybody before is greater grace oh. god knows it's difficult that's why the re reward will be greater than the day of the apostle to self so be careful you don't need to complain to me that mommy is not easy oh. it, oh, Lord, oh, not easy Lord, oh, me, oh, not easy not be only your sight it's in day hot it day hot for my sight too now both of us know say you know they easy another thing that make it easy in those days if you call somebody to come and work in your house maybe carpenter electrician and he do nonsense everybody have family house then am i right you don't need to go to police you just go to their family house excuse me is this not a very big family yes he been in <laughs> Did you have a son call like this? Yes. I gave him work to build my house. I gave him this money. This is what he did to me. I need my money back. Or else, I will go and report in the church or in the mocks or maybe I just when the town people gather, I will report you in the public. We have people like that. In fact, there was a time in Lagos if anybody ought to just know the house you go and report to la landlord landlord will handle it not be everything police they handle there so and people mind their image their name 
when they just hear you want to go and report they will correct but now no family else how many people know you in your family self even though they go there who are they going to report you to say yeah I can't report it. They will even fight them. Church. Even though they report you in church, how many pastors can even rebook you now? Pastor self, they fear. Pastor, pastor, where they fear to preach to you. Now we now rebook you. You do something bad in the church self. We put you into suspension. Some people still come and say, ah, ah. Not be only this thing you do. Why do they suspend you? They hate you. People that think like that, are they the one that will rebook member? Ah, yes, I will go and report you to your husband. Oh, husband will tell you, now my cross be that. She be never slap you, they slap me. Before, I will report you to your wife. Even children, if you report them to their parents, what will parents do? Now, it is Pastor Victor that was telling me what is that in Nado. He said there was a lady that wear bump shorts and t-shirt on top. All the pints when he's working, people will be seeing it. And the mother is going out. She's going out with her mother. She's not alone. No, together with her mother. And a woman come out. You this useless girl. If you pass this street again, I will pour water on you. I will beat you. I will do this. And I ask Mister. Is there anybody that support that woman when he was talking? Nobody. If it's in, the, in those days, the old streets will rise. Shame will not let that woman and the daughter pass a game. If care is not taken, if this woman shout again tomorrow, people will tell her, shut up. I say now your own picking. It is then you will hear, I say, I'm not going to go to the they will say something to silence. Nobody supports good things. Everybody supports evil. So that is why if I come back to preach about narrow way today, I want to remind you the Bible has said it. It's going to be narrow. It's not strange. That thing you are experiencing in your church is not strange. That thing you are expressing in a working place is not strange. It is narrow, more, more narrow than ever. If, it, if the, Jesus called it narrow in the day of apostle, today it is not supposed to be narrow. If you want to write Byro now, it's supposed to be micro today. Anybody that say come to Jesus as you are, fine. But he did not say stay with jesus as you are no you must change if there's no change if change is not needed we don't need jesus the get the great thing jesus can do to a man is to change you that jesus they gave you in your church that cannot change anything is a fake one original jesus changed man original jesus removed man fake jesus celebrates sinner original jesus remold man change man fake jesus celebrate sin any church you go and the jesus in that church cannot change you is a fake church and fake jesus go to verse 19 of that of that quotation matthew 7 19. first verse 19 he said every tree that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire hmm. he did not say every tree that did not bring fruit because there is none of us that will not bring fruit in fact we are all bringing fruit he did not say any tree that did not bring fruit but he say any tree that did not bring forth good fruits. Praise the Lord. There's a prayer. But that prayer 
is black and white. To some people, it's a curse. To some people, it's a blessing. Should I say that prayer? Huh? Have you ever do sales girl before? Huh? You have ever do sales girl or you work with company, you sell for them. Raise up your hand. Exactly what you do to them, everybody will do to you. Me, bam, me, oh. Did you hear that? No, you will need to think deep before you say amen. Because if you drink a sachet of pure water without letting the owner know, the person that will pay you back will not drink a sachet of pure water, will take a bag of pure water from you. And when it happens, you fight that person, you will still be rewarded. And you know who will get that reward? Your children. So it's better when your return comes to you, take it and thank God so that your children will not survive it. Anyone that came back to you and you shout and fight, your children will face it. Did you hear that? It's like a brother that say you want to marry Vaji. And I ask them, are you a virgin? He say, no. Have you ever disvirgin any woman? Ah, he said, <laughs> And you want me to go and provide you virgin? I say, if you say I'll be police, I will say, they're going to do brain tests for you. All those girls you disvirgin, who will marry them? Praise the Lord. It's like a brother that do abortion for his girlfriend. He now marry his wife, no quickly bump again. He now he say the girl don't do two abortion, he won't divorce her. Say, are you okay? Those one you aborted for. He say, hey, those one I aborted for, they are married, they are giving birth. Ah. Uh -uh. Those children they are bought for you. How many? He say, ah. Uh, to be sees and are your children you are bought no be their husband children you are bought your own and you are bought so all your children you are bought all of them and you are now blaming this woman you know listen he divorced the woman as he divorced the woman you know you know reach three years four years he said he saw the woman for which the backing baby he never even remarried you you know I want a man fair, a yandag be a pelletin ronu, etin ronu. That boy just sleep with her once he carry belly straight. Straight. I say, bro, try go marry another person. I say, will you take my advice? He say, mommy, kiniki washi, will you take my advice? He say, yes. I say, go look for the, pe the woman. Both the woman, the picking, collect them. He say, ah. I say, collect them, we let him shoot them. Before the picking go grow, no, say no, be you be in papa. Come out for the area, pack your load, come out. Go and start afresh somewhere. If now you build the house, leave the house for 10 years so that they don't go, no, say no, be you born picking. By the time you come back, ah, how long is she young? Let it be more. She can now. They don't go, no, say no, be you born now before you come back. If you let this woman go and everybody don't know, because many people will think, say, now from your house, he carry belly, or maybe una de meat or something. If you not let, if people know, <laughs> he don't collect the woman back. Oh. It is then he now realize truly what I say. Now, this is our solution. Two of them go, go pray. After uh, six months. The woman go come carry belly for the man when mercy speak because the woman has already no saying you no know, get problem. So it was until the woman no say she no get problem, the man now submits for prayer. Or else now the woman she is blaming. What I'm 
I'm saying is this. Your attitude with people. How do you bear fruit? Do you know if I want to bear fruit with you under one under 30 minutes, I can plan, I can sow a seed and invest it under five minutes, under two seconds. Do you know it's possible? There's something I can tell you, you will shed tears. Now my fruits be that. There are some things I can tell you, you will need to be thanking God. Now my fruits be that. Yes. So you have shown me the fruit. Is either I avert it today, I come back tomorrow and avert it. It is my fruit, I must avert it. Yes. Useless girl. Then they tell him, you know, here. He could just carry belly. He cannot stay in one place. Carry first belly. He born. Carry second one. He born. Now, picking don't reach for. Leave him. If he suffer, he go zip up. Yeah, yeah. The children. Like, <laughs> the children, too. Do they fornicate? Even though what that girl did is bad. What is the meaning? Of, <laughs> to the children. The children must not know that their story is so terrible like that. The wickedness in you must not extend to that children. So, you are not correcting the girl. All you have is just hatred. So, there's a way you will react to those children. They will grow up to be helper to your children. And there's a way they, you will react to those children. They will grow up and have no peace until they kill your own child. Yes, now. It's like a story of one man I had on radio and when I was coming from Oni Ali branch yesterday. He said there was a man in the house. I don't know what happened. They kicked them out of the village. They killed the father of the other one. I don't know. So that man and that small boy was kicked out of the village. And the man take care of that boy like his own child. So... He started giving back to his own children too. The children, they see that boy as their brother, sir, but they know say it's not their father that are born in. So later, they get to Lagos, everybody go in his own way. One day, the son of that man will take care of that boy. In abroad, I don't know what happened, sir. He loses his license, he has no job, he has no house. So, He's staying with someone. Say, ah, let me take for some month. Maybe if I do small, small job, I can gather something. You know, when I get back to Nigeria to start something. They chase him away from that place too. So he now say, hey, when, they, when they chase him from that house where he's living, he now say, let me go out. Let me pack my bag. Let me go to some friends. Maybe I can stay some month with them to gather some money before going back. As he go out, the first taxi he waved down as he enter. Brother, where in Papa take care, now in carry him. The brother, where no, no, say, don't reach abroad. When they chase the boy out, now the Baba carry him. When the son was chased out, now the brother carry him. That is give and take. Imagine. Assuming. In Baba look down on the boy. The boy can still make it. As he enter, the boy will pretend like say no see him. That is it. Though it's most it's more difficult these days. Bad people become wealthy. Good people become poor. Yet, do not allow what you see to manipulate and edit the truth from your mindset. If you allow society, what is happening in society uh, on social media? Somebody send one video to me on my WhatsApp. And when I open it, it say, Don't let the religion kill your mind. Kenekon clouded you. He said, Kenekon. He said, Can't you see? Most people that are religion are going poorer. 
And the people that did not serve God are go richer. Religion will tell you, it gave some quotation in the Bible. Religion will tell you uh, to pay tithe. And when you pay tithe, blessings not coming. You remain the same. And the people beside you that are not praying tithe, they are prosper. Because that your tithe can fix something in your business. But as he's saying it, because of the grace and the wisdom of God, God gave me. If I pay tight, you know they come back, right? All the fuel where they buy inside generator, if they come back, head down. So if God need to bless me back for tight, who go bless me back for the fuel where they buy? No, they say wait because. Me or Mata to go your go says <laughs> Lawan Bay. A yellow man in all regularly. I want that for a gun lot of you are. Not only that, last year, from your house to this place, how much did you pay for transportation? Today, how much did you pay? The increase, who will give you the interest? Your income, no increase your expenses increase the increment that come upon your expenses between now, last year and year you know pass your tight who go pay you back all they want to fight is the little you are giving to the church or god much the multitude you are wasting in the world nobody will mention it only the little you give to god they said they want to open your understanding so that your eyes will open. Open to who? Open to what God did that is not right. But the one God has been opening your eyes to what the world are doing that is not right. God has been opening your eyes for more than 60 years. Your eyes no see. The world will now open your eyes against God. Under how many years your eyes they open? Something they do you. Am I talking sense? Yes. That guy said many dirty things in that video. They will tell you not to fight, not to revenge. But those people that did not follow that book, when they employ you in, your, in their company, you steal their money, they arrest you, you pay back, you go to prison. The other one we caution and their prisoners will grow. But those that follow that book, when they steal their money, they will say, Vengeance is of God. Many of them go and see that their business has collapsed. If the children of this generation hear that one, what will happen to them? And sin is believing. Truly, everything he says is happening under. The rare, the age of the fools. Yes. There's another girl they interview on social media. One girl, they say, What is your red flag on men? Do you know what's in this get up? 16 years old, though, 16. What's your red flag in men? That means, what are the things that is no, that will make you to hate man or that you fear in man? He say. I fear a man that is too caring, that care for me, that listen to me, that cannot argue or fight with me when I talk. Uh, it's a red flag, especially a man that cannot shit. How come you have only me? That's a bad thing. Shit, let me see you shitting. See that thing and go to comment if you see how people support this. But to me, do you know why she said that? If you have only her, you monitor her too much because she did not have only you. If you have only her, you will not give her a chance to do what she wants. But if you keep her when it's available and when it's not available, another person is there, you will not have a chance to complain. When I caught you cheating, me too, I will cheat, will be 50 50. Nobody talks. That's what she means. But the children will not know that is what it means. 
they will believe that's the way of life freedom that person now asks ah 16 years old i forget what's your body count body count means how many men we don't sleep with Say, ah, what do you mean me but i'm sorry to so i don't like it can't hear gun i want the body can only can't say what to you ah guess now 16 i'm talking about guess i can't remember maybe 60 or 70 i just can't remember 60 or 70. That's the world we are. Only on one drag who act by gave some by force. At the church, and when they drag and come church, and I hear say pastor sleep with her, I say you know go church again. You know serious, eh? Pastor, I can't say nah, he pastor can't sleep with something. They they there. Person we just scatter igboro. Only we just everybody say we are I want come wa a money one. Easy. Then I ask him presently how many boyfriend you have. Do you know what you talk? She says she has 15 right now. Ah. The person where they ask, her, what do you mean? He says, yes, now 15 now. When they see each other, what they say, la ye won't limit. Ah. How do you do it? Say, I get brain. 15 boyfriend, 15. He ya a name a gigan, she real too. In mama self get to, she get exposed. This small girl at 15. The person when they uh, uh, ask her question, can say, do you do hook up? Maybe he's talking about hook up. He say, no, I don't do hook up. Oh. I need him friend. He now say, what do you do with them? He say, I get some. What I have them for is when I want to go, maybe I'm hungry, I need to go to eat tree, hang out. He says, some na shopping. They are the one buying my my clothes, my shoe. He's, he says, what about that? He says, some. I choose them because they are very good in bed. I don't collect from them. I mean, they give them. Because, they are, no, 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 no. They deserve to be taken care. Ha! Universal to go and hear the age very well. 16. 16. There was a girl. Now, solution I cash out. I saw her walking towards where ministers are sleeping. You know, the room given to minister. It's not two, three years ago. She's now walking like this. Ah. Now the Lord now show me say she's waiting for the soul pastor. I want to get her now today. Go for this Monday. Now the pastor will sleep with her. Huh? And I say, you Don't toast them. He said, The pastor never toast them. You know, no, but now today she go arrange her. Ah, now I go meet her. Come and I say, Get out to the mass. If you go, you will die today. Ah. Now come. I say, You are so bold. Though. And this girl I'm talking about, she know they go meeting, no. She know be agents where they go meeting. So I'm saying this so that you will know your head. She doesn't go to a meeting. She doesn't go to any witchcraft or money meeting. She's just possessed with the spirit of sexual immorality. That's all. She has no. She's addicted to it. She anybody is okay. Somebody's addicted to drunk smoking. That is how they are addicted to sexual immorality these days. It's an addiction. It's like the way man way addicted to woman say, ah, I like this babe. I must get this babe. That is the way they also think in their head now. The way men follow women in those days. That is the way girls follow men these days. They are addicted to it. They have no rest. They cannot sleep. Their hand will be shaking with their phone until they get that man attention. I say, you are bold though. In this place, you want to go and capture my boy. You say, mommy, it's not my fault. He's the one that do opening prayer. And in, in mama bring and make you get admission to school. 
May we pray for that. Make you get admission. It's going to be painful to be faithful. Endure a little more. That's the message. The road is going to be more narrow. That is why it's going to be painful to be faithful. Endure a little more. You don't need to tell me how painful it is. Because it's paining me too. You don't need to look for someone to talk to you about the pains. Unless it's not going to heaven. He's also going through pain. He's going to be painful to be faithful. Endure a little more. I want to talk to my brother what happened to me in the church. Don't bother. We shall tell the story how we it is over there you tell the story try to tell it here you will regret it it's going to be painful to be faithful endure ah i'm going to leave that church let me go to another church now that one will pay you pass because you are going with the mindset that in that place i'm going to become angel if care is not taken, you will become devil there. Yes. I don't trust my pastor. Now he like money. The other one you go to, he like arrogant. That is it. Endure a little more. Endure more. Please. Just be closer to God. Let every chalice Jesus bring you closer to all. God, let every disappointment bring you closer to God. Let every sorrow and pains bring you closer to God. And do you know why? If you try to tell someone, they will take you far away from God. It's going to be painful to be faithful. Stand on your feet. Lord, blend me into the system of holiness. Blend me into the system of righteousness. Praise the Lord. Sister, how old are you? Sister in green. 61. Are you a sports woman? Are you a sports woman? Are you into sports? Mm -mm. Are you into sports? When you were young. Okay. Since how many years ago now? Is he up to 30 years? Yes, ma'am. More than that. Ma Put it more in your mouth. More, more than, than, than 30, 30 years. Yes, now you want to go back into sports. Imagine. Can you imagine how painful it will be? Yes, ma'am. Let's say you start from jogging. You jog from here to Abule, but I jog back. Sports now to be in sports. Is it too bad? <laughs> no, ma. That's how we feel the pain. That's the, ma. the rest of the day. No, the rest of the day. Now, one week you go feel them with this age. One week, even two weeks. If guests not taking doctor will tell you go and relax. You are stressed. Am I right? It will be more painful than ever. But when you were young. You will do it at ease. When gospel is young, it's easy to blend anybody in. But now, it's rugged, rough, tinier. It's going to be difficult. In fact, you will get fraction. That is the condition of the Christendom of today. Unless you don't want to be faithful and feel the pain. God, blend me into your righteousness. Blend me into your holiness. Help me in. Blend me in. Help me out. Dura! Lord! Blend me, my spirit, my soul, and body. Blend into your righteousness and holiness. In Jesus Christ's mighty name we pray. You are going to pray. You are going to tell God. God. Every 
anything I'm serious about before and I'm getting weaker now, restore me. You know before, there are some things you cannot do without in your house. If I meet you, I need to go and be strict in my house now. You know, maybe before in your house, you must pray in the morning. Now, it's not there. Maybe before in your house, you must do VG every night. It's not there. Maybe before in your house, there is something you don't eat. You are adjusting it now. Maybe before, there are some things you don't do. You are doing it now. Lord, make, bring me back to the perfection. Correct me. Whatever that happened, the devil or society has adjusted in my brain. Lord, rescue me. Touch me. Help me. Open your mouth and pray. In Jesus Christ's mighty name we pray. Amen. I pray. You come in here every week will not end you in shame. Amen. We gathering before the Lord God Almighty every week shall not end us in public shame. Amen. We gathering here Every week shall not end up in disappointment and rapture. Amen. I pray the mistake that will count you among the loser, you will not make it. Amen. The peak of error that will make us to mix it at the end, it shall not cut us. He said we rejected the world because of the great reward. And when devil discovers reward is waiting, he's targeting it. He just wants to snatch you away from the reward. For your sake, for our sake, darkness shall fail. They shall fail. They shall fail. They shall fail. They shall fail. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray. Whatsoever is going to take. For you. For me to make heaven. The Lord shall give us the grace. Because I don't see any reason. Why you will close your shop and come here. And still don't rapture. I don't see any reason. Why you will change your appointment to Tuesday instead of Monday just to be here. I don't see any reason why you will make all this sacrifice and yet don't make heaven. And the people that never make any move will be laughing. God help us in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord at the end we shall rejoice. Lord the escape that will make people around us to say I don't know I will have been like this woman. I don't know I will have obeyed this man. That thing, Lord, let it happen. Amen. We shall not be trapped. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus Christ's mighty name we pray. Amen.